chilling here at my parents house in Massachusetts I guess my house also you know my family's house in Massachusetts in Plymouth so we actually recently moved here from Westford Massachusetts which is I should also just a, a small town Plymouth is great there's a lot of um, you know beaches and such nearby this is really cool just because it's all in nature there's a ton of stuff to do outdoors wise like go kayaking if you want to um, you can go on hikes you can have a camp out like all those kind of stuff you can do in nature this is kind of where I grew up in that um, for me growing up was sports growing up was hanging out with friends you know going bike riding and kayaking and a lot of outdoorsy kind of stuff like i remember playing capture the flag when i was like really young um with my friends and really just having like tree forts all that kind of stuff i did when i was young and it really brings back those kinds of memories but it also reminds me the these things that i like about being in new york city and also the things i don't like as much you know there's no where place in new york city where you can just go and feel literally entirely in nature just like this you can feel just immersed in it you can feel the tranquility and there are no other sounds and there's no street noises and cars and all that kind of stuff which is amazing here you can even see the stars at night which is insane but at the same time you know being here there's also less activity it's a slower lifestyle and that's something i realized that i wanted to get out of you know i wanted to be in the middle of action i wanted to be in the center of the world and that's why i actually moved to new york city why i went to to college in dc was because i wanted to be in the center of the world i wanted to have action you know i wanted to being a young guy i wanted to get out there and sort of stake my claim in the world and i knew i could never you know be like my friends and just like stay in westford or stay in massachusetts for the rest of my life I had to get out there, I had to build my business, I had to discover myself and have so many experiences and write about them and just really become my own person. That is the reason I wanted to leave a small suburban town kind of like this. really cool footage just like going up there and it's, it literally looks like broccoli <laughs> all of the trees look like broccoli and you can see a little bit of some of the the houses and some of the water and you know some of the lakes and such um, I want to get better at filming with the drone so for example if you can see behind me there's this little path here what would happen if I actually filmed or did a follow me kind of thing? I don't know if I would get GPS signal, but um, what if I just flew it through that path and kind of did more of like a, a filmmaker kind of a vibe for the drone footage? Or, you know, if I'm, I'm flying over, I notice that's a much better photo than to say if I'm ascending or trying to go left or right. So it's another thing I can do with the drone, but I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let me know, how can I improve my filmmaking with the quadcopter? What kind of drone or quadcopter do you use? And how do you actually get better film footage with it? 